Hello guys, this is Raven from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 135. View One tool is reportedly available on WhatsApp beta for Android version 2.21.14.3. If users send a photo using View Ones to people who have disabled the option, the feature would still work. WhatsApp is yet to share the exact timeline for rollout. Netflix is reportedly looking to get into a video game development and has hired a former Electronic Arts and Facebook executive to lead the venture. The move comes just months after we first heard that the streaming platform was looking to introduce an Apple Arcade-like gaming service sometime in 2022. Audio-based social networking application Clubhouse has announced a new text messaging feature on the platform called Backchannel. Apart from one-to-one -one chat, the text messaging feature can be used in groups while an optional second inbox stores your message request. This is not the first time we are hearing about the feature coming to Clubhouse as the platform accidentally leaked the same last month. Vivo S10 and Vivo S10 Pro smartphones have been launched in China. Vivo S10 price starts at 2,599 Chinese yuan and Vivo S10 Pro price starts at 3,099 Chinese yuan. If we talk about the Vivo S10, it comes with a 6.44 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display, it comes with a Dimensity 1100 processor and it will be coming with a 64 megapixel triple rear camera and a 44 megapixel dual facing camera. It will be having around 3,970 mAh battery with a 44 watt fast charging support and if we talk about the vivo s10 pro it also comes with a 6.44 inch full hd plus super amoled display and it is also coming up with dimensity 1100 processor but if we talk about the camera it will be coming with a 108 megapixel triple rear camera and a 44 megapixel of dual selfie camera with a 3970 mAh battery with a 44 watt fast charging support Vivo Y72 5G price in India is set for Rs 20,990. The phone goes on sale online and offline starting from today. The key specifications include a 5000 mAh battery, 48 megapixel dual rear camera and a 5G support and we can also see a 6.58 inch Full HD Plus LCD display and it runs on Snapdragon 480 5G processor. Techno has launched the Techno Cam 17 and the Techno Cam 17 Pro smartphones in India. The Techno Cam 17 price in India is set for Rs 12,999 and the Techno Cam 17 Pro price in India is set for Rs 16,999. Techno is offering a 10% instant discount on the smartphones with HDFC bank credit and debit cards. The Noise Colorfit Ultra smartwatch is one that many had been looking forward to given some of its key highlights such as SPO2 monitor as well as the 60 different sport modes. Making it a rather appealing purchase, the Noise Colorfit Ultra comes in three distinct color options such as blue, white and black. The Noise Colorfit Ultra will be available starting on July 16th at 10am with a starting price of Rs 4,499. Realme has announced that it will launch the Realme Watch 2 Pro and Realme Buds Wireless 2 Neo in India on July 23rd. The Realme Watch 2 Pro price in India could be between Rs 5000 and Rs 6000. Realme Buds Wireless 2 Neo price in India could be between Rs 3000 and Rs 4000. Realme GT Master Edition have been revealed in China. The Realme GT Master Edition has a special design with a 3D wagon leather back panel. The specifications remain unchanged from the Realme GT smartphone. Poco F3 GT is confirmed to feature a 120Hz AMOLED display with HDR10 Plus and DC dimming. The handset will feature an aerospace grade aluminium alloy frame and a glass sandwich design. Poco F3 GT price in India will be around Rs 30,000. OnePlus first launched its smartphone with an invite system during its initial years. Nothing is following a similar unique style to offer people a chance at buying their product. But rather than an invite system, the firm is starting an auction for those that can't wait to get their hands on their new True Wireless earbuds. For those who are unaware, the hearables in question are the Nothing Ear 1 True Wireless earbuds. While the earbuds are set to launch on 27 July 2021 in various regions, the company is hosting an auction for the first 100 pairs of ear True wireless earbuds. Xiaomi will increment the price of its smart TVs in India and the company did as well. A few days later, OnePlus has also hiked the price of its television model in the country. Let's take a look at how much they cost now. OnePlus has jacked up the price of its TVs by up to whooping 7000 Indian rupees in India for the 50-inch variant of the newly launched OnePlus TV U1S series have received the maximum price hike. Please check out the screen for the new price of the OnePlus TVs. 
Samsung Galaxy M21 2021 edition launch date and specifications have been revealed online. The smartphone will be launched via Amazon on July 21st at 12 pm. Samsung Galaxy M21 2021 edition specifications include a 6.4 inch AMOLED screen, 48 megapixel triple rear camera, and a 6000 mAh battery. Honor has a global event scheduled for August 12th. While it did not say what it will be unveiling, we are expecting the launch of the Honor Magic 3 phone. Today, the manufacturer has confirmed that the Magic 3 series will indeed launch on that day. A tweet by the Honor Global Twitter account has revealed that the Honor Magic 3 series 5G will be announced at the global event on August 12th. Asus India has today launched a wide range of Chromebooks that are designed to thoughtfully simple yet highly affordable. The range includes four models Asus Chrome C214, C223, C423 and C523 respectively and in all six variants at highly affordable price points. The Asus Chromebook range will be available on Flipkart starting from July 22, 2021. Amazon makes a handful of hardware products for kids such as kit version of its Fire Tablet, Echo Dot Kids Edition and the Echo Show 5 Kids. Now it has plans to launch a wearable in partnership with Disney. It has also revealed that Amazon was planning to launch an Alexa powered wearable for kids last year but that did not happen. The new wearable will be launched as a magic band and it has scheduled to arrive this year. Twitter fleets will vanish on August 3rd, 2021. The fleet feature was introduced on November 17, 2020. Fleet appears on top of the timeline and offered users a better way to interact with others on the microblogging platform. ZTE has been working on its second generation under display camera smartphone. ZTE Accent 30 as a successor to Accent 20 5G, it has now been officially confirmed by the company to soon get launched in its home market China. Ahead of the launch, the firm has started teasing features of the upcoming phone. Today, the company has shared a new teaser posted on Weibo that reveals details about the phone build material and technology used. ZTE Accent 30 uses seven layers of high transmittance materials, three layers of special technology and offers strongest light transmission. Prior to this, ZTE had revealed that the device will come with a 120Hz refresh rate and offers 400 ppi pixel density. Japan Airlines is apparently seeking to diversify its operations and enter into flying car business in the near future. The company aims to launch its own flying car service in the financial year 2025. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.